What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. But this video is entitled When Competent Black Men Set Their Price for Their Services. What I mean is when, when competent black men say this is what I'm bringing to the table and this is what I expect. These are some of the things that happen because a lot of the times when we have these conversations about black men as far as relationships and relating to women, one thing the brothers are not saying that are competent is they do set their price mark. They do set their price point, you know, and all of this, you know, being able to point the finger at these guys who are incompetent as if they're the, the, um, the whole community, or not the whole, but the majority of the community of black men is kind of hilarious because, like somebody else stated, the same people that are ask you where are the good men know exactly where these good men are when the bad men screw them over. How do you not know where they're at when you're dating uh, uh, degenerates, but all of a sudden when you break up, you know exactly where they're at to pick up the pieces? That means you knew where they were at the whole time time okay so that being said because you know where the good guys and the bad guys reside you also know what the good guys and the bad guys uh set their price point as and when brothers say when, when these competent brothers are like look i expect you to be able to do this 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 and this because I bring this, 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 and this to the table. Sisters get, they just, all of a sudden, all they, they neurons start firing. You know? See, because when competent men say, I need a woman that cooks, that it's a problem. I'm not talking, and we're not going to say about the guys who are incompetent. Uh-uh. When a competent guy set the price point, I need a woman that cooks. I need a woman that's in shape. In a, or you know, in shape or in attractive. Oh, that's a problem. I need I, I don't I need a woman who doesn't have all that attitude. That's what I expect. That for what I bring to the table, that's 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 what I'm saying. Then it, uh, see, before I finish my list, when these competent guys start saying these things, it, it it's a shock to the system. Because now you just can't be any kind of way. You can't come to them any kind of way. You can't play. You, how can I say this? You can't play with their time and emotions and money and come in and out as you please. Because competent black men don't have time for games. Contrary to popular belief. This is part of the drama that brothers talk about. When the girls like, when females like drama... They go to be with people who have time to play games. You don't see a lot of competent black men on the telephone, you know, chatting it up about what she did today and yesterday and, and this other day and what you finna do to her. He ain't got that kind of time. As a matter of fact, competent black men let you do what you do to get rid of you. You wrote yourself off. I got, I can go to somebody else. Going back to the list, you know, competent black man to say, listen, if I expect, you know, order, period, structure, no, no dirty homes, no dirty cars. If you got kids, no out of control kids. I expect a peaceful environment. This is what I expect. I expect sex on a regular basis. This is what I expect. I expect sincerity, kindness, you know, and actual, you know, care for me as a human being. That's what I expect for what I bring to the table. And then what is he bringing to the table? That's another thing. These guys are competent. You know what they're bringing to the table. 
You know the kind of skills they have. You know the kind of money they make. You know the kind of money they that their presence saves you in your life. You know the kind of order that they bring. You know you know that your life is better with them in it than it is when, when they're not in it, don't you? You know, somehow, if these guys enter your life and you got kids, your kids wind up being a little bit more balanced. You know that part, don't you? Don't you? Oh, yeah. You know, now you can kick back, and, and, and if you're so independent, you don't want to be independent no more. See, when these competent guys come into your life, it's, iron it's ironic all you independent ladies don't want to be independent anymore. It's just too, it's just too much. So when you get with these guys, all of a sudden, you know how to, uh, I want to fall back. Really, they want to take a vacation from being independent because they didn't talk themselves into something that they wasn't really ready for. That's what happened. And you got it together, and now they want you to have it together for both of y'all. But see, these competent black men will say, look, if I got to have it together for me and you, especially after all that, that, that cash she was talking, about, you know, you, you don't need nobody, you don't want nobody on your own, you know, I, you could do bad all by yourself, then you can't make that complete 180 and say, oh, I need you to, to take care of me as a lovely flower and care for me and nurture me and I'm going to just be here with my feet kicked up because this is what I deserve. Competent black men know their price point. They know their value. They're like, look, if you're going to kick your feet up messing with me, you better kick your feet up after all these things are done. Because check this out. Watch this. As old Bernie Mac jokes would say. This computer work. Check, check. Mic work. Light work. Lights work. I work. So you gonna work too. Everything in this house work, so you working too. Cause I'm part of this house, you part of this house. If you in this house, you working too. Your phone on, mm-hmm, phone work too. But this is the, the conversation that people forget. Because when these competent brothers start start talking like this, girls, brothers to the mark. Girl, he got it together. I can't take this. You can't take it either, girl. Mm-mm, son. A boogie, Ray Ray, we coming, baby. Go! I'm coming to you, Big Daddy. Oh, Jody, I love you, Jody. They running to Jody. But we forget that, you know. Because think about this. Every brother who got it together ain't lame. Every... I'm just using every is too many, but but the 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 excuse predominantly predominantly is these guys are lame. All these brothers ain't lame. They're unattractive. All these brothers ain't unattractive. They're awkward. All these brothers ain't weird. Mm 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 mm. You know what it is? Cause the brothers who are attractive. Hmm. Who, who are cool, huh? who are really fun to be around, and they competent, they got the same issues as the lame, awkward uh, L7. Because even those lame guys can open their mouth and say, look, baby, look, look, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to need. And basically what's happening is there are a lot of ladies out here who are who talk a good game, but they're not coming with all the stuff that they're talking with. And now they're dealing with the type of guy who actually bringing those things to the table. And now her being in his presence, she sees what it takes to be all the things that she's talking about being. Now she's seeing it in real time. And she kind of, she low key resents him, you know, because he's a competent black man, and she thought she was better than black men in general. So now I need to 
you know, if I'm a six and he a seven, I need to get me a strong five so I can feel like I'm on top. That's what's going on. Because when these brothers set they when these brothers set their price for their value, all of a sudden, you don't want it. And then it comes around, you argue about these nine black women who find these guys. Because it's the one thing that's been happening more and more recently about guys dating outside of the race. If you notice, the guys they complain about, for the most part, are attractive. For the most part. Not all of them. Let me let me let me roll this one back. They can be um they're all competent. They can be attractive. They can be attractive and rich. They can be rich and unattractive. They they can be uh uh very respected, highly skilled. They got movie stars all the way to scientists that have this same issue. So what's going on? You see, people was mad at the at, at the guy that played Luke Cage. People was mad a little bit at, at, at the guy that plays Ghost. People was mad at every brother who dates every Kardashian and Jenner. People are mad at all the guys that, you know, thirst trapping over non-black women or even the light black women nowadays, right? But pose the question. Are those guys that you mad about, are those guys lame? Are those guys weird now? Um, I'm just saying, are, 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 are those guys too short? You know, too out of shape? I'm just saying because, I mean, seems to me, and and, and, all the, and how is it that these women, these other women, are able to work with these competent men? Now, mind you, before I end this, black men are predominantly married to black women overwhelmingly. Like eight out of ten marriages is. is Black man and black woman. How is it that out of those eight out of ten, uh, for the for that hundred percent of black women, for for the eighty percent, for the hundred percent of those eighty percent of black women, eighty something percent rather, how is it that the majority of those women can't get along with these single women out here? Because they can get along with competent black men, but the girls. Who, who aren't involved or married to or in relationships with competent black men can't get can't get along with competent black men or the women that are with competent black men. I'm just saying. That's a problem to me. Because, I say it again before I close, when these guys set their price and their value, these girls run fast. We out.